Hey there, welcome back all you horror movie and action figure aficionados to another great episode of Hell House Horror Collection presents NECA Ultimate Halloween Michael Myers and Laurie Strode from the 2019 film. Um, I've been really on a Halloween kick lately. Uh, I've been watching the teaser over and over for Halloween Kills. I just went back and rewatched the uh, 2019 Halloween uh, I loved it. Uh, amazing. Uh, so let's get into these figures and let me show you what they have and what they come with and aspects of the film uh, that I thought was really good That when I rewatched it again. Uh, we'll start off with the Michael Myers NECA Ultimate. Now this one's a little bit older figure. Uh, Lori Strode is newer. She came out uh, a few months after Michael had came out at least six months, half a year. Uh, this is the back, uh, by the way, the front cover is the DVD and Blu-ray art work. It's the same thing uh, of the case. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the back. All the little scenes where they show you how you can pose them, what he comes with, how he looks, gives you ideas on how to display them. Let's go ahead and get him open here. Um, as you can see the inside, what he comes with, a few extra hands, a knife, a hammer, a, a fireplace poker, uh, an extra mask, and a light up pumpkin, and a severed head that Michael has carved into a jack-o'-lantern. Uh, they called it the man -o lantern which is pretty funny. Alright, let's go ahead and get this open. Um, for those of you who didn't know, uh, the original Michael was played by Nick Castle. And he actually came back and uh, did some parts. Now, he wasn't under the mask all the time. It was another actor. But in the beginning of the film, when the podcasters go to speak to Michael at Smith Grove Sanitarium, that actor uh, with the gray hair and the messed up eye uh, is Nick Castle, which I thought was awesome that Nick Castle and uh, Jamie Lee Curtis got to see each other. You know, as Michael and Lori, which was amazing. Um, oh, he also comes with, let me put this here, uh, Judith Myers Tombstone. Really, really good. Um, let me go ahead and get him out. Okay. All right, now here he is. Let me just slide this off to the side. Here is Michael. Get his head up. I'm going to put him up close for you. Let me just get him standing for a little bit. Ta-da! Uh, really great. I mean, I'm not going to go over the articulation. As If y'all's watched my videos before, you know uh, NECA Ultimates have really great points of articulation. I really don't need to go over that. Let's just take a look at his mask. Uh, his other mask he comes with is a little different. I really love this one to display him with. Uh, you can see a difference in the mouth. Let me go ahead and pull this one out and I'll put them side by side so you can see if you can see a difference. I know I can. Okay, there we go. That's the side by side comparison. Uh, this one is my better liking one. That's why I keep this one on. Um, I'm not even going to put this other one on. Put this back. Now, let's get the man -o lantern This is the head. I believe it was a cop that he murdered and cut up like a jack-o'-lantern. It's the man -o lantern It's really cool. Uh, the uh, heart eyes pumpkin. That flickers. He's got a few weapons in here. Let's go ahead and get the butcher knife, the fireplace poker, and the hammer. All right, let me go ahead and show you all those. The fireplace poker is pretty cool. Very, very flimsy. Like, if you can see, I don't know how good you can see that. It is very, very thin. But, uh, man, it's, it's so flimsy. Wouldn't even display him with that. Let's get a look at the hammer. Now, uh... Really small claw hammer, really awesome. It's it's bloody. That's when uh they they show homage to Halloween too, uh, when he goes into the house in Halloween two, the old woman's making a sandwich, and uh, he just walks in, takes the knife, and walks out, and the old woman comes back, reaches for the knife, puts her hand in the blood, and, ah, she screams. Well, in this one, they pay tribute to it by showing Michael go into the house, the old woman's making the sandwich. Right before he goes in the house, he picks the hammer up out of the garage, goes in, she's making the sandwich, and commences to beating her to death. 
which was pretty cool because uh, when we first saw, you know, us horror fans who know the originals, uh, all of them by heart was like, oh man, is that's this that's the sandwich scene? Is he gonna kill her? And then, bam, beats the hell out of her with the hammer. It was it was pretty cool. Um, and there's some other. There's just about uh, a reference to every Halloween film in the 2019 Halloween film. Uh, there's some kids trick or treating that are wearing the three masks from Halloween Three: Season of the Witch, the Shamrock Clover Company, uh, Shamrock Clover, Shamrock Mask Company, um, that were trying to brainwash everybody. Uh, it's really really cool that they showed that. A few other ones I'm not going to give away. I'm going to let you watch and see if you can pick them out. I was able to spot them all. True horror fan, sorry. Uh, loved it. All right, let's go ahead and get Michael's knife in his hand, so you can see. It. Oh, and I'm going to show you the hand in the film, Lori. Uh, Michael's trying to break in the, uh, her front door, and he puts his hand in, and Lori cocks the shotgun, boom, blows his hand off, and it it's pretty cool that they added that as an accessory, and they got the 1-6 scale that I just recently seen that uh, is from Trick or Treat Studios on Big Bad Toy Stores up for pre-sale, they have uh, this one in a 1-6 scale, uh, the 1978 Michael in a 1-6 scale, the Part 4 and the Part 5 in a 1-6 scale. They're really good, a little pricey. Uh, Pre-order sale on the 4 and 5 is $159.99, and the other two, I believe, are $179.99. They're 1-6 scales, they're 12-inch, really amazing. If you're into the 12-inch figures, I suggest checking them out. Uh, but, you know me, I stay with the NECA Ultimates, the 7-inch scale, uh, also, the NECA Retro Cloth figures are uh, getting pretty big. They've been pretty big. They're just getting pretty big with me now. Um, okay, that's the NECA Ultimate 2019 Michael Myers in all his glory. Let's go ahead and move this box out the way. All right, now let's go to Lori Strode. Look, let me move Michael out of our way. Put him right here. All right, we're going to go with Lori Strode now. Uh, this is a really great Ultimate figure. Uh, you know, keep up the good work, NECA. I really, really enjoy the sculpts. You just keep getting better and better. Um, here's the back, all the different posability, different ways you can display them with accessories. Uh, it'd be really awesome if NECA started putting out diorama pieces, uh, like they do uh, accessory packs. I know a lot of people custom make dioramas. Um, I really ain't got time for that to, to make my own, although I, I really like to. Uh, but come on, NECA, put out some diorama pieces. Like you did the. The Night He Came Home box set, which I do not have, by the way. It comes with Dr. Loomis, made by NECA. It has the porch uh, with the walkway and the stairs. comes with another pumpkin. Uh, really, really great. Uh, but uh, enough of that. Let's get on to this Lori. As you can see, she comes with a knife, a revolver, a shotgun. Uh, what else? A rifle, an extra head, and an extra hand. Now, let's go ahead and break her out of here Let's see how she looks really. okay all right really good let me give you a look of her in there everything she comes with really really nice go ahead and pull her out and see if I can get her to stand for you right there all right let me pull I get the revolver it's popping out at me like popcorn all right got the revolver I'll show you that in just a second the shotgun the rifle, she has an extra hand, an extra head. The extra head just doesn't have glasses. It's the non-glasses form. Okay, let's get a good look at her. Oh, look. She's got some loose leg, hip articulation like the Freddy vs. Jason Jason had. Uh, let's get a good close-up of her uh, with her glasses. I do know her glasses move just slightly a little bit. They are attached. But uh, just if you have this figure, just note, be careful with the glasses. They might come off. Mine hasn't come off, but I don't want to take a chance. Uh, she has a sheath right here on the inside of her jacket that you can slide the knife in. We're going to go ahead and slide the knife in. Her little combat knife. Really, really cool accessory. Let's go ahead and slide it in there. Now, some people like to just... Leave them in their, their their action figures in the package. Man, me, I'm an open display kind of guy, except for maybe a handful of figures, NECA Retro Claws, I, I do leave in the package. I have one open, and that is the uh, 
NECA Retro Cloth Friday 13th Part 5 Roy Jason, which I got years, years back from a, like a Barnes & Noble or something. And I was just really, really excited that I finally had a Roy. So I opened them and displayed them, and a dog we had at the time ended up chewing the mask. So one of these days, if I review the NECA Ultimate Part 5 Roy, I will break that Roy out to show you how bad the mask was and how I had to fix it. But I digress. Here we go. This is her rifle. Pretty good little rifle. Um, this one I would probably leave in the box. Uh, I'd display her with the revolver and in her other hand. It's looking like it wants to clutch something. Here's the pistol grip sawed off 12 gauge shoddy. Uh, like John Gotti. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to put that in her hand. Like she's dual, not really dual wielding, but like she's holding it for backup. Like she's got the revolver in her hand. She's ready for action. Look at that. And then yeah, she should. It would have been nice if she would have came with a pumpkin too. Like man, give us some more pumpkins. I'm gonna place the gun off to the side. The rifle. Oh, that's all we have in there. Okay. Uh, full articulation. Same. Uh, at least 25 points of articulation really good she looks really really good the gun sculpts are amazing uh, look at that just Lori and Michael Michael Myers uh, dude uh, I just can't complain with NECA um, they've been putting out great figures uh, as you've seen in my last Halloween review I reviewed the NECA retro cloth Halloween 2 Michael and the NECA Ultimate Halloween 2 Michael. So two Halloween 2 Michaels back to back in that video, uh, which the Ultimate Part 2 is right here. But uh, let's talk about the movie a little bit. Um, great, great movie. That's the artwork for the, the movie. It's on the DVD and the Blu-ray. Same when you slide it out. I know I need the Blu-ray, um, but when I, it came out, the Blu-rays were sold out, so I had to settle for the DVD. Um, but man, really good. Opens up. Two podcasters going to interview Michael at Smith's Grove. They show him the mask. Michael shows no emotion or nothing, but you know inside he's going batshit crazy. Uh, of course, because he breaks out that night and goes on a killing spree like we love. Um, I know everybody's probably already seen the movie. I hope you liked it. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, written by Danny McBride and David Gordon Green. Directed by David Gordon Green. Uh, did an amazing job. Um, can't wait to see Halloween Kills, like I've said multiple times. Man, it's going to be amazing. We still have over a year to wait. Uh, October 15th, 2021, if they don't push it back, uh, which, they, which they shouldn't. But um, I'm really excited for this. Okay, since we talked about these figures from this movie, I'm just going to go ahead and mention these other ones we got here. Look, I'm going to move Lori to the background over here and Michael. Now, they've been putting out... Michael Myers figures, Michael Myers figures for a while. Now, over here, you've seen the NECA Ultimate Halloween 2, so I don't need to speak much on that. Uh, this right here is the NECA's Evolution of Evil box set, which I believe came out 2005, 2004, something like that. I could be wrong. Correct me in the comments if you know. Um, but... If you're going to look for this pack now to buy, it's at least $400, $500. I'm so glad I picked this beautiful thing up. Uh, I need to change the battery in this pumpkin. This pumpkin does light up. It doesn't flicker. It just lights up. Uh, Michael is really great for an old figure. Now, this is old NECA, so there's not much articulation. No knee, no hip, no waist, no mid-chest. Just shoulders, uh, rotating elbows, and feet. His knife is really good. Now... This is the awesome one. This is the only, only figure in existence that I know of, of six-year-old Michael in his clown outfit after he killed his sister. Amazing. He's even holding the mask. Now, the mask did come with a string for him to wear it, but as you can see, it is an old figure I've had displayed for years. Uh, the, the string literally, like, just lost all elasticity to it, and just I just had to take it off. It wouldn't hold no more. But fortunately, I will show you here, you can take the mask and tuck it up in his hairline. See if I can get it to stay a little bit for you there. Yeah, and look. 
It's a little weird, but he's got the mask on. You get the point. Now, look, if you want to see his face close up, because, you know, we've only got to see Michael's face fully at the end of the original 1978 Halloween when he attacks Lori in the hallway. She rips his mask off. He stands back in the light. You see his face. He puts the mask back on. Bam! Luma shoots him in the head. Speculated it was in the head. I believe he was shot in the head. Um, and then, bow, a bunch of more times, then he falls out. And look, this is his face close up. Go ahead and get a good look. It's a really good representation of the little boy who played Michael. Uh, it's it's just amazing. Now, no articulation with these. You know, a little bit of hand, a little bit of shoulder, neck, and, and feet. That's about it. Okay, now, NECA Evolution of Evil box set. Amazing. Okay, now we've got these. I'm going to start with this one. This is the, I want to say Mezco. Put this out. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is Mezco. This was NECA. This is the... 2008, I believe, was the remake of Halloween, Rob Zombie's version. This is the pumpkin mask that he made while in Smith's Grove. Uh, and then they have the regular one. Go ahead. He has much artic not much articulation. Let me just put this on, and I'll pull him off of here and show him to you. Uh, really good figure. Tyler Main played Michael Myers in this film. Uh, he also played Rufus in... Devil's Rejects, but unfortunately met his demise at the beginning of the film. But uh, that's a really good figure. Uh, I like the base it came with. They changed up the Myers tombstone. You know, this was what it was in the original, and then in the 2019 still was this one. Rob Zombie decided to change it up. That's how it looked. Um, I'm go ahead and change his head, put his mask, his age deteriorated mask, and go ahead and take him off again, show you that one. Uh, it's pretty good. The hair just looks a little too slicked back on this one for me. It should have been a little bit more messy as a figure. Uh, really good figure, though. Uh, Rob Zombies. Uh, you can probably still find this one online. I'm not sure how expensive it'll be. Uh, I bought it when it was released, when the film came out. We'll slide that one over. And then there's this one, which, yes, I believe was Mezco. And this is the Rob Zombies Halloween 2 Michael Myers. Which, uh, I, I dislike this film. Um, little bits and pieces that were awesome. I loved how brutal Michael was. But other than that, him hallucinating and seeing his dead mother and his younger self with the white horse. Uh, I understand Rob Zombie wanted to put a little bit more of his creative taste on it. Uh, and also, at the end, Michael Myers said the word die and stabbed Loomis. You lost me when you had Michael talk. Michael's never said a word. Why would you do that? Shame on you, Rob. Anyway, I like most of his films. <laughs> but here he is up close. If you notice, he's got a little piece missing off of his bottom of his mask. That's because he's decided to take a high dive off the shelf about six years ago. And his shit broke, and I couldn't find the other piece to fix it. But I, I managed to fix it good enough. Uh, he has some good articulation. Uh, elbows, shoulders, wrists. He only came with a knife. It's a shame that neither one of these came with pumpkins. Uh, opportunity miss there. Uh, hip, he's got some swivel in the hip articulation. That's it. No knee. Some ankle articulation. Pretty decent figure. Not bad. Now, if you've seen all these Michael figures, I want to take you back. Take you back to 1998, I believe it is, uh, when a guy by the name of Todd McFarlane started Movie Maniacs uh, action figure line. Uh, Todd McFarlane, as you know, is also the creator of Spawn. But he did the movie Maniacs line, and he had a Michael Myers. Here's the little movie marquee, the little poster. Here is the old, old pumpkin without a stem. Doesn't light up or nothing, just basic little pumpkin. And then here is the movie Maniacs Michael. I mean, it's a good figure. I recommend everybody have this figure in their collection. But look at it. Look at the mask. I mean, it's it's a little wacky looking. I'm not going to hate on it too much. I love this figure. I love that I have it. It's it's so old. Articulation only lies in the shoulders, the wrist on both. No hip, no knee, barely any foot articulation, and a little bit of head articulation. Now, he only came with the pumpkin, the stand, and this knife. Now, this knife... 
is like a little janky knife. Like I'm gonna hold it out like that and let you look at the little bins and you know this is 1998, so they, it's the best they did at the time. Now don't hate on McFarlane too early, thinking that all his figures are crap. No, in my opinion, this still ain't crap. He came out with some amazing figures later in the Movie Maniacs line. Uh, which if you guys want to see any of those figures reviewed, go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know which one. I have every single one. We will go over and talk specifics about them. Uh, but this is my Michael Myers collection. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the review on the Ultimate Michael and Lori Strode. Uh, I enjoyed going over with you and discussing parts of the movie, uh, the accessories they came with. Showing you functionality and everything with everything. But I know there's some Michael Myers fans out there. And I know y'all going to enjoy this video. So do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, I, I urge you leave me some comments. Tell me if you liked it. Tell me if you hated it. Tell me what I can do better. Tell me what you want to see. It's all up to you guys. Thank you for coming to Hell House Horror Collections. We shall see you on the dark side.